Madam Chair, uh, Her Excellency Sikh Hasna, Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Honorable Heads of State and Governments, His Excellency uh, Antonio uh, Guterres, uh, UN Secretary General, Fellow Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very good morning, afternoon, and evening to all. I bring warm regards from uh, the Prime Minister of Bhutan, His Excellency Dr. Lotus Ring, who could not be present in the forum due to his uh, pressing domestic uh, engagements. On behalf of the Royal Government of Bhutan, I would like to extend our warm felicitations to, to the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh for taking over the presidency of the Climate Vulnerable Forum and the Vulnerable 20. Uh, 20 group of ministers of finance for the 2020 to 2022 term. The Royal Government of Bhutan extends its full support and cooperation and look, uh, looks forward to your leadership. Bhutan also uh, wish to thank the Government of the Republic of Marshall Islands uh, for your uh, leadership and uh, steering the forum to greater heights. Representing the Government, uh, government of Bhutan, I join Madam Chair and my fellow CVF uh, member countries in calling for enhanced global efforts to tackle the climate crisis. The most vulnerable countries, despite uh, contributing the least to climate change, are the uh, hardest hit by its impacts. Despite being a carbon negative country, Bhutan is not spared uh, from the impacts of climate change. Cloud bursts triggering flash floods is becoming common and frequent, hampering road infrastructures, agriculture fields, and uh, risking human life and uh, settlements. Adaptation is a priority for C CVF members. Global community must support uh, of vulnerable societies. Notwithstanding the economic challenges, we have committed to remain carbon neutral. Our constitution mandates forest cover of 60%, while the present forest coverage is over 70%. Our energy needs are uh, net from hydropower, which is renewable energy, and we export close to 8% of the production. Uh, this <clears throat> export of clean energy is offsetting uh, GHG emissions in neighboring countries like India. Environmental conservation is at the core of our developmental philosophy of cross-national happiness aimed at ensuring sustainable and equitable socioeconomic development for the well-being of our citizens. The COVID-19 pandemic has presented greater challenges to us addressing the climate change. The reversal of global economic growth has increased the need for ensuring access to food and the uh, other basic facilities as we continue to deal with multiple shocks from both the COVID-19 pandemic and climate-related impacts. The world must come together to get uh, on track to achieve the global uh, goal of limiting uh, temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius as set out in the Paris Agreement. This, uh, the science is robust and clear. It tells us that limiting global warming to below 1.5 degrees Celsius is achievable. What is needed is political will to deliver uh, climate ambition and action in line with the 1.5 degrees Celsius pathway. Every action counts and every fraction of a degree in temperature increase matters. It is a matter of survival for the millions of people in poor and vulnerable countries such as ours. Therefore, we call for the highest political engagement to ensure the submission of their uh, country's new and enhanced NDCs this year. We also expect countries to propose uh, visionary long-term strategies for uh, achieving low-carbon climate-resilient development by mid-century. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic provides a window of opportunity for uh, transformation, uh, transforming transformative green recoveries to build, uh, build back a better, to deliver stronger climate, sustainability, health, and economic outcomes. We support the call by the Secretary General for a, a green recovery to the pandemic and his six climate positive actions 
and urge all countries to use climate action on the basis for their pandemic recovery efforts and enhance NDCs. This is the, this is the only pathway that will deliver significant to low greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 and net zero emissions by 2050. Climate vulnerability for CVF member, uh, member countries means risking livelihood, some risks going underwater and some risks going without water. In conclusion, I wish to, to thank the government of Re People's Republic of Bangladesh uh, in uh, the, the, the kind invitation that they have extended to Bhutan uh, uh, and wish a very successful deliberation and the outcome of the forum. Thank you, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention.